I have been waiting for this day to come for literally two years, guys. Two years I've waited for a little baby bear to turn up at our doorstep and finally, today is the day. So I'm sure literally everyone's gonna know. Let me put my tea down. That bear had her beautiful colt foal just over a week ago now. The pair of them have been very, very, very well looked after at New Barn Stud. That's why we send our mares for foaling because Sharon is literally the best person ever for it. She's just got like a sixth sense when it comes to mares and foals. So we just feel, feel like they're super safe there. So they've been looked after perfectly for, like I said, just over a week. And today, not only are they coming home, but they're gonna meet little Moosey, which I just, oh my God, I'm so excited for. Moose has been amazing. He's such a people person. However, because he's a people person, he wants to play with people. And obviously that doesn't really work, Moose. When, although you're not big, um, you're quite powerful already, aren't you? You are growing significantly. So yeah, that's what I'm most excited for, is for Moose and Bear Baby to be reunited. I have actually decided on my Bear Baby stable name, which I'll tell you a little bit later on. Still humming and hawing about the show name, so that might have to wait for another day to be announced. Um, but we've literally just had the call. You're probably wondering why I'm saying that they're gonna arrive any minute and we're not in a lorry driving and Hobbit is just there. So we've had wonderful Hugh from the, he's called the Horse Transporter. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. Hugh the Horse Transporter um, is dropping them off for us. Partly because we have just been so hellishly busy that like, yeah, neither of us had time to actually go down and get them. Um, and also because Hugh is just amazing and doesn't get at all stressed out by things. So he got there really early this morning. Again, like we wouldn't be able to get there that early because we've got eight horses to do here, soon to be 10 horses. Um, because it's got a little bit hotter in the UK now, it was really important to us that they weren't traveling during the hottest parts of the day. So Hugh got there really early, picked them up and he's on his way now. I'm gonna leave details for him down below because honestly, if you need any transporting needs, he's based, is he, he's not based in Worcestershire, is he? He's based in Gloucestershire. Yeah. Based in Gloucestershire, but he does travel all over. He's taken horses, he's done mares and foals for us. He's also taken Dee Dee down to Bicton. He has done lots of... He does Rumsford Cornwall. Yeah, he, does, he goes everywhere, doesn't he? He was in Yorkshire the other day. Um, so yeah, would certainly recommend him because he's a very, very good driver. Like, we wouldn't trust many and people with taking bear and a baby. Experienced horseman. And experienced horseman, that's true. Hugh is going to have the horrible job of going into the box, I imagine, and <laughs> wrangling bear and baby. Anyway, he'll literally be here in five minutes and obviously we'll film a few guys and then tonight bear baby is going to go outside for the first time to so also film that because it's going to be adorable apparently his legs have really unfolded now and sharon was like he is one of the fastest foals i've ever seen so badminton 2029 20, i'll see you there and i will i won't be getting time faults no <laughs> mum there's no age limit on it rude all right now we wait Moose, you don't look very excited. He proper blends in, doesn't he? Um, just to talk you through stables, because Briddy was the first to fall. Briddy got the top stable, number one, so that's normally Didi's stable. Don't worry, Didi, you can have it next year when you've got a baby. And poor Jam Bam has given up her stable. <laughs> Jammy. Jam says I'm very tired because I actually won a B100 the other day, guys, on the weekend. It's now Monday, I won it on Saturday. Oh, a little bit of a zoom there, Jam. Um, yeah, Jamie's given up her stable so that the foals, Mary and foals, can be next to each other. So we've got a gigantic big straw bed. And yeah, I'm hoping that they'll maybe be big enough to like touch noses through here obviously we can't turn them out together straight away like we need to let bear and her baby kind of bond a little bit yeah and just make sure they're all settled and like the mares and foals are strong enough and then they'll be put out together won't they which is so exciting i literally can't wait seeing how much moose like rears up on brinny they're gonna be hilarious playing together yeah let's 
keep vlogging guys because I'm like desperate for them to arrive. I'm like a little nervous, nervous twitch and I don't know what to do so just vlogging. I'll be able to see them come up along the top road. <laughs> I've just seen a white box. Come on little baby. This is so exciting. Also King Kenny always picking the worst time to mow the lawn. Classic, classic dad there. Here they come. She'll be coming down a mountain when she comes. Hey? Other way of what? Hey, people know who you are. The grass eating man, it's fine. Whoop whoop! Hello! Yeah! Hey Bebe! Hey baby that won't be named yet! Yeah. I know she's here. Yeah, we're ready mum. Okay. Right, this one's done. Oh, sweet. Teddy on the way down. Good girl, Teddy. Hello, yeah. Bear. She said hello. Good girl. Good girl. Hello, hello, Miss Teddy. Good girl, Ted. Well done. You did, Hugh? Yeah, good girl. Come on. Come on. Oh. I knew you were a good mummy waiting. Oh, look at him, he's lovely. Isn't he gorgeous? He is lovely. He says, I don't like it here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back. Oh, a refined looking little face he's got. <laughs> don't fall off the edge, you don't be Come on, I'm a little bit independent from Mum. I think this one will go, yeah, this one will go with Mum though, I think better. Not the other one, I was more worried about. Oh, well done. oh my god, you're so smart! <laughs> Look at him! Good boy! Good boy! Another baby, I can't believe it! Just looked at Moose like, oh, I'm full. And she's like, wait, no, that's not my one. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Jamison, hang on a minute. Fair, let me get the kettle off. Hang on, Joey, you can't. You're fine, darling. You're fine. Yeah, you actually let Moose? I think you'll be right. Well, can we go? I can't believe it. Two foals. <laughs> there you go. They're all so good. Good girl. Oh, hang on a minute. There's another. <laughs> Another winning really for me with another foal. Oh. What's going on here? <laughs> Moose is none the wiser. Perfect. He'll figure it out in a minute and then be oh, like, oh. Oh, Moose Boo, there's Happy. She's lovely. Isn't he gorgeous? Yeah, he is lovely. He's so smart. He's lovely. Moose can't see. <laughs> Moose is like, hang on a minute. I was supposed to be the only sweet one around here. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. Is he quite friendly like Moose or not? <laughs> Yeah, he's not over worried about it. And, and not people, she, she, yeah. She's barely in love with her. Yeah, I yeah, know. She is. So, uh, You're gonna let you she's a call. good mum. Good boy, Moose. <laughs> All go around here. Isn't it just? Oh. The horse is probably like, who else is going to come back? Oh. Oh. Dee's been absolutely kicking off because she can't see the bowl, so yeah, she has to come and see what's happening. She says, Bear, can I see what you've got, please? Because I'm actually thinking of having a baby. Yeah, see? Good girl. See? Good girl. Good girls. Okay. See, are you happy? You know what's going on now. Baby back. You don't like being left out of the loop, do you, Dee Dee? Two babies now. She says, I can't really see it. I want to see it better. Come on, baby. He's having a feed. She was literally <laughs> kicking off guys, <laughs> kicking the door and tossing her head around because she didn't know what's happened. Yeah, do you feel... The the yard. I need to know these yeah. things. Yeah, <laughs> I've given up my stable for this little thing, so I want to see it. Good girl. 
out. You can eat now. Yeah. <laughs> At least she's actually conscious of where yeah, he is. is <laughs> Oi! Kenny, please, this is a family friendly Sorry. channel. Well, that was a bit, um. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of a chest, God, you wouldn't want to mess with that. Stop live streaming. Oh, Moose has it all gotten a bit much. Has it all gotten a bit much? Teddy, is that a good idea? Because I'm desperate for a roll, but I have to share my stay with a little baby now. Jam is desperate to meet him. Bear. Bear. Say nice things. <laughs> she likes your baby. Well done. I see that by Jam. You jealous, Jam Bams? Yeah, because she just stares, doesn't she? Oh, she's going for it. Oh, she's just like, oh, I'm so scared, I'm gonna squish him. <laughs> Good girl, Letty. Look, look. Hey, handsome boy. Finally get to see your little face. He's got a lovely face. Hasn't he? I don't know where he's got all that white from, because neither Bear or the stallion have much white well, on their face. This is, this is close to that, was it all a bit much for him, Bryn? Hey, Moosey Moose. He says I've fallen asleep, guys. <laughs> Cannot wait to put them out together. I think this evening they'll go out like in paddocks next to each other. We'll obviously film that for you guys so we can see like them actually seeing each other because the two babies <laughs> are too small to see over the middle partition. Also, how cute, that little toy. Lovely, lovely Alice, who I met at Bowlesworth, she won a giveaway, bought both babies a little fold toy and Moose has been obsessed with it, so I'll tie the other one up in a few days once they've settled. Time to start the full bonding process. So, obviously, he doesn't really know us at all. We've literally met him once that time we went down to visit him at Sharon's. Um, so, essentially, what I'm going to have to do is basically just sit quietly in the corner of the stable doing my own thing kind of like ignoring them um and just wait for him to come to me i don't want to like be like really in his space going to stroke something jammy jam you can see the baby what's wrong it really it sends these mares so silly when they see a baby they all get so broody um so yes i'm gonna sit here for a bit and see if he comes and says hello to me Hi. Look at the cutest little face. Please come and say hello. Feeding well. Brinny says, Don't talk to mine. Brinny? So funny, isn't it? Like the, the mayor politics. The horse whisperer has spoken, guys. I think so, yeah, he's not like that fussed about following Bear. Yeah, just tell him if we need to stop. Okay. <laughs> do, you need to pick, do you need to pick him up? <laughs> oh, he's such a little wimp. <laughs> he's, he's so a massage horse. Look at him. He's a massage horse. He's a little 
banana. It's literally the opposite of boost. It looks as if it might rain. <laughs> oh, look at this. I don't think I'm waterproof. You are waterproof, darling. Betty, darling, that's not helping. Good boy. Good girl, Brad. Okay. Come on, let's go to the great outdoors. You already feel so, like, soft and supple. <laughs> He's so, like, dainty and delicate and thinks about where he's putting every foot. Yeah, I'm on gate duty. You're fine. Where are you going? <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Good girl. Well done. Okay. Look how posh he is. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, look at him. Isn't he <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So springy. baby are in here and Brinny and baby are in here oh I've come to stand in this corner guys in case they meet oh my word his canter is incredible <laughs> yeah way more horsey are you a bit gorgeous He is so smart, oh my word. Good job, Dante and Bear. Has your buddy not come to see you, Moosey? Is he a bit antisocial? Oh, so are you. <laughs> Bye, Moose! Moose, no, you numpty. You he says, I want a friend. Well, Moose is good. Bring the friend over. <laughs> Do you really want to meet him? <laughs> okay, got one baby there. Another baby here. <laughs> oh, he's in <I'm> home scared. <laughs> Finally, guys. Oh, we are becoming friends. However, he's starting to get teeth already. Which means it's... It's sweet grooming, isn't it? But you are getting a little bit nippy. Anyway, I feel like now is a good time 
to tell you what his stable name is going to be. So I'm sure many of you will know that we've had a lot of Lord of the Rings themed pets and humans. Hey, Hobbit. <laughs> um, yeah, we all basically really like watching Lord of the Rings. We used to watch it when we were children and go as family together. So it was a really nice like outing. We've always been very fond of it. And there was a horse on there called Brago. And I've always loved that name, thought it was very fancy. It was one of Aragorn's horse. I think he uh, rode it into Rohan. And my badminton, I believe. Um, so yeah, I've always loved that name and I've always wanted to call a colt that. And obviously we've had quite a few fillies recently. So when this little chap came along and he was as posh as he is, we thought that Brago would suit him rather well. So I'm very pleased to introduce you guys to Brago. Bye. It's Cecilia. That was my little cameo. He says, I've got a little bit of pseudocreme on my bum. It's very embarrassing. Oh, I'm so pleased. I've actually managed to like have a bit of bonding time yeah. with him now. He'll soon get friendly. Yeah, he will. Shame I'm gallivanting yet again. Only for a few days though. Yeah. But yeah. That is Little Bear and Brago. As we said, I'm not sure what his registered name is going to be 100% yet. Because there's certain things you want to include. We'd quite like to have Dante in it, wouldn't we? Because that's yeah. his daddy. Yes. Daddy Dante. And yeah, quite nice. Quite a nice, smart, posh name. He's obviously a smart, posh horsey. His movement, absolutely incredible. Very, very in love with him. Very, very pleased. Oh, right. Well, there's going to be plenty more Brago and Moose content coming. They weren't brave enough to introduce <laughs> to each other today. No, I think this little one needs to settle. Yeah. And... But no, in a few weeks' time, when they're all happy, we'll put that together in the same field, which would be so exciting. Obviously, we'll film that for you. But for now, guys, that is all the Foley content. And stay tuned, either on here or on Instagram, for a registered name reveal. Other than that, I live, love, love ya. And we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.